Well, it's a big night tomorrow, too, for the Democrats as they battle in the Empire State. Uh, Senator Bernie Sanders, well, he wants to extend his impressive winning streak, and he's getting amazing crowds in and around New York. But the team, they're starting to tamp down expectations. The big question is, can he pull off an upset? Joining me now, Jessica Tarloff, Eric Guster, and Jillian Melcher. Jessica, I'll start with you. i got to tell you, uh, he's been underestimated in a lot. It's, uh, the, he's, he's overcome the polls in, uh, in so many different places, and he's got the momentum. When that is back, could Bernie pull it off tomorrow? No. Why not? Um, I don't think there's enough momentum at his back to win in New York. You know, she's up. The real clear politics average is 13. That she's up. She's up uh, 19 points in New York City. It's really outside of the city where he's uh, pulled close to her. And I know the crowds are huge. I myself went to Washington Square Park uh, last week to see Bernie Sanders speak. Get free and ice cream. No, I didn't get free ice cream or free college, um, but it was fun to be there. And I heard Vampire Weekend, and that's great. Um, but I think that Hillary will hold New York and hold it strong with a double-digit uh, win here. And I think that the delegate math is just going to get worse and worse for him. You know, Eric, maybe Hillary pulls it all off, but i got to tell you, I think there's some damage uh, because of the Bernie, uh, Bernie hanging around this long and really now pressing the case even harder than he had been before. I think there's going to be some damage to a candidate uh, nominee, Hillary Clinton, more so than it would have been if he dropped out. I disagree with that. She's had to talk about the issues, and she's been in the forefront of the news, the debates, and she had an opponent leading up to the general election. And without an opponent, she would have been air silent on the networks. For example, if the GOP had their debates, the Dems would not have a debate. And but everything this is making like, like today, she was on a hot night at 105 and she talked about carrying hot sauce in her bag like Beyonce or something like that? She did, <laughs> but she does. I was upset when I heard that comment. I was like, oh man, she's pandering. But in several articles in 2012, she mentioned that that is part of her travel, her bag that she carries hot sauce. She carries a Basco to flavor up food. So <laughs> it's she, a Chipotle though. It's, it's Tabasco, you know. But uh, that's not real hot sauce. Texas Pete is real hot sauce. But she uh, she's really trying to reach out to the African-American community and get those votes. Now, Bernie, he has this young coalition of voters. Brooklyn has been buzzing. I'm in Brooklyn when I'm, I have a place in Brooklyn, and Brooklyn is totally buzzing with Bernie. But it's still unclear whether these are registered Democrats, and that's the problem here because it's a closed primary. And but, Bernie but what's not unclear, Jillian, yeah. is that he's got that enthusiasm. Hillary Clinton has a a massive enthusiasm gap uh, compared certainly to Donald Trump, probably any GOP candidate. Where is the enthusiasm for Hillary? <laughs> well, I think he's already pulled an, off an upset to that point. I mean, if you looked at it, um, back last year, was a, she was at 75 percent. He was at 15 percent among Democratic primary voters. Now it's 50 to 48 percent if you're looking nationally at Democratic primary voters. I think this speaks to her witness. He's a guy that guns up passion. He's got young people responding to that in the same way they responded to Obama. Her, she's making a tough pitch that, you know, pick me because I'm competent. Pick me because I'm experienced. But that's really a trust me pitch, and she's got a trust problem. So I'm not surprised he's, he's taken advantage of that. Jessica does she have to do any, anything uh, the, to bring Bernie along in a general election, promise him something? I mean, no, he's already get... made it clear, which I, I really appreciate. Bernie Sanders and Jane Sanders have both made it absolutely clear that they will support the nominee if it is Hillary Clinton. I mean, they but still... support is one thing, to get him out there, help no, him to bring he will. in the crowds. I mean, no, the Democrats know full well that the real enemy here is the GOP, and especially if it's going to be a Donald Trump or a Ted Cruz candidacy, you will see a much more united Democratic front than it's been looking like these past couple of weeks where it's gotten a little and with, spicy. And with a pandering pay up, pay up, uh, uh, play, pay for her because she needs really black and Hispanics to show up in some of these states. And she does. And to be fair to her, all politicians are panderers. I mean, right. you have some uh, pander better than Kasich right. cutting yeah. pizza with a knife. Where he obviously should not have been eating pizza. <laughs> he has to use a knife. But all politicians yeah. do that. And on the radio show, to be fair to her. That was a true statement that she's talked about for years. All right, all right guys. Anyway, uh, note to anyone pandering in New York, don't use a knife and a fork when you're cutting pizza. <laughs> GOP <laughs> did that. <laughs> hey, New York primary, of course, now less than 24 hours away. We're talking 95 delicate tougher grabs on the GOP side. Uh, and Donald Trump, though, he's saying it could get rough. It could get a little bit rough at the convention uh, if things don't work out right. Uh, we're talking about an all-out civil war, maybe more than just verbal. We'll be right back.